Well, here's the Sprouty, and I'm on the coil that tunes from 48.10 kHz, just underneath the beginning of the 60 meter broadcast band, and it goes up to 63.20 kHz, so we'll cover the 60 meter ham band, if there's any activity this time of night, I'm not sure if there is, I have a feeling there won't be, and the, the 49 meter broadcast band, so let's get started at 48.10 kHz and get some regeneration going and just, just back it off, and, oh, hello. Love these shortwave sounds. I think that's WWCR in Nashville, Tennessee. This is, well, we're just entering the 60 meter broadcast band, by the way. It's about 10 o'clock at night, incidentally. It's about 10.15. Let's see. What else we got? Oh, lovely, wonderful sounds. There we go, we can hear the signals coming in from Hawaii and from uh, from Boulder, Colorado. That's WWV and WWVH on, on 5 megahertz. So let's keep going up in frequency. Now we're approaching the 49 meter broadcast band. By the way, this vernier dial from uh, HRO, this old HRO dial, you can you can draw a graph of of the calibration, the dial markings against frequency, and it's very resettable. It's quite accurate. It's it's great for. I find that I can determine which 5 kilohertz shortwave channel I'm on, so I, it's great for finding out what station you're listening to in conjunction with an online frequency guide. To these 14 countries, Ooh, it's hello. very important. For example, do we have the means for... This nice strong signal is Radio Havana, Cuba, by the way. And ...community engagement for infection prevention control. Do we have a good epidemiological surveillance? So there we go. Well, there we go. That's the Sprouty. I hope that gave you an idea. It's got an internal speaker. It looks, well, I think it looks quite good. And it sounds really good, too. The Sprouty.